category. When we look at this data, uh, if you look at the variable pool here, so the minimum is zero and the maximum is one. So it seems like a variable that you're actually measuring, uh, trying to capture or measure whether that place or that house has or a house has a pool or not. So it's like the answer is yes or no. Okay. So in you will be in, uh, you'll see many situations where you actually need to use this sort of variables and these variables called um, indicator variables or dummy variables where you can uh, you try to say okay so it's like a binary variable where it, it yes or no uh, male or female um, if you want to capture like the seasonal effect or not so in that case you will use uh, what we call a dummy variable so I have an example here where I want to see whether the being close to uh, university whether the house is close to university um, affect whether that would affect the price or how much uh, on average uh, houses uh, uh, that are close to the university will be different in price compared to the houses that are not close to, to the in, uh, university. So my dependent variable is the price of the house and the independent variable takes only two values, zero or one. So one means it's, very, it's, it's close to the university and zero means uh, it's not close to the university. So if you look at, if you drop this, okay, if you look at just beta one, so beta one here is the average price of houses in the in the in this in this sample okay so beta one here is just the average price okay but now if you talk about um, if you add this and estimate the model that means okay so that means beta one here is average price of houses that uh, not close to the um, the the university because that means if this is zero that means, so that means it's not close to the university, so that means beta one is the average prices of houses that are not close to university. Um, beta two then, that means it's the difference between average prices of both categories, of both uh, 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 groups of, of, of houses. So if you see here how many groups we have in this data, or we're talking about here, we're talking about houses that are close to the university, houses that are not close to the university. So how many categories or how many groups we have? Two. How many dummies we have? Only one. So we have only one variable here, okay? And this is something else you need to, to keep in mind when you use dummy variables. You always have to include G, number of groups, minus one, okay? So always you have to drop one of the groups. Why? Because this is the group that I compare with. So in this case, when I say this beta two here is the average price of houses that close the difference between the average prices of houses that close to the university to those who are not close to the university. So the, the, the group that is not there is actually my comparison groups, the group I'm comparing with. So in that case, we call it the reference group, okay, or the base group. So this is what you compare with. So you always have to drop one of the groups, okay? So if I have G is the number of groups, then I need to use G minus one. So if I have, if I want to put dummies, to uh, capture the effect of four seasons. So how many dummies I include in the model? Three. So you drop one to compare with, okay? Again, so if you want to have, uh, if you have like uh, monthly dummies, so you have many, how many month we have? Are you sure? Are they 12? Yes, we have 12 months. <laughs> it's 12, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. So how many dummies? Eleven. Eleven. So we drop one because we want to compare with. Okay. <laughs> if you weren't very sure about twelve. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe you just follow a different calendar. You <laughs> have twelve months. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway. So in this case, we just <laughs> estimated the the model. So, so what what does this mean then? Sixty one point five. Again, I'm I'm using all this. So I didn't use any other method. So it's very simple or less to submit this, uh, this model, this one, this equation. So here, so what does this mean then? What 61.51? Okay, so, <laughs> so any, any try? So just try, just what, what does that mean? So let's go back here and just, so beta two here, okay? 
is the difference okay, in price between the houses that are close to the university and the houses that are not. You remember my comparison group, all those houses that are far away from the university. So that means on average, a house that is close to the university, on average, the price is 61.51 higher than a house that could be pounds or dollars higher than um, a house that is not close to university. So this is the difference between uh, both categories. Okay, so on average, the, the house on that's close to university will be more, would be higher. The price will be higher than the house that is not close to the university. Okay, so okay, 